It's me, Dilemma, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm in my kitchen, and that means I'm gonna be cooking something. Today, I'll be making a that'll do pizza. That'll do because we're just getting ingredients that we have and being like, well, that'll do. So, for this recipe, you will need a tray to put your pizza on, some baking paper to protect your tray. Protect it. You'll need something that will substitute for a pizza base. If you're a poor uni student like me and you don't have pizza bases on hand, just use the wraps in your freezer like I did. I don't know why there's wraps in my freezer, there just is. You're gonna need chiz and a lot of chiz. I coincidentally had mozzarella in my fridge because I always have lots of cheese on hand. Because I like cheese and I take advantage of the fact that I'm not lactose intolerant. You are also going to need some other toppings to put on your pizza. For example, some chicken I prepared earlier because I don't eat ham so I have chicken on pizza. Some mushrooms, some baby spinach because it was in my fridge. And pineapple for all of you pineapple on pizza haters. So, to make your that'll do pizza, you will have to preheat your oven to a temperature. Add the baking paper to your tray. Protect it. Just like your sex should be. Stay safe, kids. Then you're gonna get a wrap that you defrosted before making the video. Organization. Wrap. Cause your wrap is fresh out the freezer and it's kind of soft. Put it in the oven for a little while to toast it up. While we wait for that to get toasty, let's chop up that mushroom. My mushroom looks like this. It got a bum on it. Be safe with knives. There, chopped mushrooms. Next, open up your can of pineapple. This one has one of these little thingies, so it's not that hard to open. <clears throat> you can keep the juice for later. No waste, because you're poor and you can't afford to waste things like this. Now open it fully. Ugh. Cool, pineapple is ready. Okay, now hopefully your wrap has toasted a bit. Let's see. Slightly toasted. The first thing you put on your pizza is your base. Oh, now, because your pasta sauce is a bit more runny than tomato paste, you don't need to use that much. Okay, you can use more than that. And then you just smear it all over your pizza. It should look like this. Oh, and I forgot my tray is gone. My tray is hot. Next, you add a layer of chiz. Chiz, 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 chiz. Good work. Next, we're going to add the chicken that I prepared earlier. Or whatever it is you want to add next. Now, I'm going to add my pineapple. I don't know about you guys, but I like to put lots of pineapple on my pizza. Mostly because I like to rub it in and really irritate all those people that believe you shouldn't be putting pineapple on pizza. Because I'm here to tell you you're wrong. Once you put your pineapple on your pizza, put your mushroom on. If not all your mushrooms fit, you can eat them.
good stuff. If you feel you need leafy greens in your life, you can probably add them now. And finally, you top your pizza with a shit ton of cheese. And there you have your raw that'll do pizza. Now you put your pizza in the oven for a time. While you're waiting for your pizza to cook, make up a wrap about it. Yo, making pizza is really great. All you gotta do is put it on your plate. Then you add the base and then the cheese. And then you put all the things on top of these. Like chicken and pineapple. Because pineapple is actually really good on pizza, yo. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just drown it in more cheese. Then you put it in the oven and the cheese all melts. And then you pull it out. And it's delicious as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza, yo. This is taking forever. There are other easier things you can do to have pizza at your home that don't take this long. And they include um, buying pre-made pizzas from the supermarket. And then you just shove them in the oven and they're ready. And if you're all fancy pants and you can pay for delivery, then you can order a pizza or you could make your own from scratch and take pride in it and use up the ingredients in your fridge that are probably going to go off tomorrow. It's ready. And there you have it. Your that'll do pizza because that'll do and it's a bit hot for me to eat it now but I will wait for it to cool and then I'll chop it up and then I'll watch a movie if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to be my clicking my face right here and you can watch one of my last videos right here yes enjoy your pizza friends and that's a wrap Ain't that the truth? I'll take myself out.